Hi everyone, Susie here with another scrapbooking process video. Today I'm using an oversized photo of our garden from last summer. I think it's about, I would say, 8x8 eight eight square. And I'm using this Fancy Pants pattern paper. And it's actually the only pattern paper that I use as I use the gutted portion on the reverse side for the center. And to make this stable, I just backed both of those pieces with a piece of... Um, basil cardstock. There you see me. It's kind of a color that I would never use, but it helps keep it sturdy. And now most, a lot of this process video, you'll see me using things that I totally reverse in the end, and you'll only see the end pictures of what I did um, on the still shots in the end. So here I'm adding some stickers from Scenic Root, and they're very, very old. Um, but what I decided after I got them all on the layout was that they just looked way, they looked dated to me. Um, so what I ended up doing was replacing them with some die cut letters from my Silhouette Cameo. And here I'm going through the um, one Canoe 2 sticker book, and I'm going to pull out a couple of flower stickers, and uh, again on the end photos you'll see me, um, I did find some butterfly stickers that I, and I'm sorry I didn't show the process, I just looked at it for a couple of days and that's when I decided to redo everything. But I, the butterfly stickers you'll see on the in photos, I backed with some solid cardstock because they are the clear stickers and I wanted them to have a little bit more stability so I could kind of ruffle the butterfly feathers. And then I went through and I found a couple of phrase, or not, uh, word stickers. Um, I used Discover and Favorite Place. And then here I am working on the bottom portion, which is the 2017 garden. And that, I didn't change the title. I just decided to use, again, the die cut letters instead of the letter stickers. I don't know. There was something about the letter stickers. It, maybe it was the font that made it look um, dated. I'm not sure. And then here, I, th I think that I, I die cut these um, herb words or names and pots. Um, and I thought that I could use them, but they, the photo was actually too large to use any of these. But I will use these on a different layout at some other point. So I saved them because I have more garden pictures. And then I chose a couple of these Heidi Swap stickers. Um, one says, surround yourself with greatness. Yes, and yes, please. And I'm not sure. I think I even do move those. <laughs> and this is a um, Jen Hadfield um, tag sheet for American Crafts. And I think I like this... Um, fern tag and so I cut it in half and put the um, top portion well I guess actually I leave it whole you'll see me fussing with this a lot I push it around quite a bit and then I end up changing it completely. Um, I end up using just the top portion on the bottom right hand side of the photo and then I die cut a totally different um, tag from um, a piece of Tim Holtz um, cardstock. And I tie it with twine and I do keep the twine both on the top and the bottom.
and I did make a little curly cue that I um, adhered with some of my scrappy glue from my um, fine line applicator bottle. Otherwise, I feel I find that they just kind of go crazy. So I put that down. And then I think that's all you're going to see before I do the still shots with the changes. And I think I already told you about all of the changes. Probably if I did it again, I would have adhered all the stickers, the clear stickers with some cardstock. But other than that, I really like the finished product. And I love looking at gardens from years past because they change from year to year. But I just want to thank you so much for stopping by. And I will be uploading another layout video shortly. Have a good day. Bye.